1796, a man by the name of Moses Cleveland arrived at a location that would later become known as Cleveland. Moses first surveyed the, the land of the city we now call Cleveland, and he laid all the structures and roads and based them around Public Square, which is the heart of Cleveland's history today. However, the factor that really propelled Cleveland into the history books was its location where the Cuyahoga River pours into Lake Erie, one of the Great Lakes. Once the Ohio and Erie Canal was completed in 1832, this young town was connected to the mighty Ohio River, which was the main trade and transport route to all the major river ports south. The railroad arrived soon after, giving Cleveland even better access to the rest of industrial America and establishing its history as one of the principal ports of the Great Lakes. The city of Cleveland stayed on top for decades, expanding its industry during the 1920s and attracting a vibrant urban scene with professional sports teams, popular jazz musicians, and an influx of immigrants. Grand buildings like the Terminal Tower, the second tallest structure in the world until in 1964, kept the city at the top of the American urban scene. Cleveland was once again named an all-American city for several consecutive years. And while today it continues to find its path forward, there is still a lot of potential for this Great Lakes city.